You know, the NFL might be struggling when it comes to ratings. Major League Baseball, not, not, not the case at all. And the World Series kicks off tonight. A little history to be made between the Cubs, of course, and the Indians. Uh, together, uh, we have never seen a World Series where it's been so long since one of them had won a World Series. 1908 for the Cubs, 1948 for the Indians. And the man who's made all this uh, ratings magic possible, the MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, live. Field in Cleveland. Uh, very good to have you. Thanks for coming. I'm glad to be with you, Neil. It must be a kind of a slow news day, I guess. But uh, how do you hide <laughs> your bias? I mean, now, you, you must have a team that you want to see win. But you can't reveal that, right? Well, it's very easy. You just sit on your hands when anything happens in the game, and you look as neutral as you can possibly look. Um, look, whatever team wins here, it's a great outcome for Major League Baseball. It's been 68 years. Cleveland's been waiting, 108 for Chicago. Either way, it's a great outcome for us. That's a brilliant answer, by the way. Uh, you know, Commissioner, I'm looking at this and seeing the difference in baseball ratings versus football ratings. Why is that? Why are you guys just off some playoff games uh, and, and, and ratings are through the roof? Um, even a one-game Mets-Giants playoff that was eye-popping, and then not so football. What do you think is going on? Well, you know, it's our postseason. Um, I don't like to compare our sports to others. I do know in this particular postseason we've had really compelling storylines. We have two of them that have made it through the World Series, Cleveland and Chicago, obviously. But, you know, the Mets were very interesting. We've got an exciting young group of players who are making the game more interesting for people, and we're very fortunate in that regard. Now, I don't know if you can do anything on this, and who am I to recommend things for you, but since I'm such a huge baseball fan, please remove this one game playoff thing uh, the one game play in or whatever they call it it's very confusing could you address that well look I actually love the one game play in so uh, do I it, you know you took the words right out of my mouth I, exactly but you, you think know, it's it, really it, important you don't think it's ways. nutty you don't think it's a little weird no, I really don't. I think in terms of the regular season, it encourages people to play hard to win their division so they don't have to be in the one-game playoff. And then in terms of the postseason, it gets us off to a fantastic start. We had two unbelievable games, one in Toronto, one in New York, and you can't ask for a more exciting start to your postseason. Yeah, but it's one game, one and done. <laughs> you know, win your division. You don't have to play one game. You know, that's what I always say. You're exactly right. Um, let me switch to a little bit of the. We don't see any of the kind of protests we have in football either. Uh, the Colin Kaepernick thing where you sit out the national anthem or kneel it out. Um, are there rules to that effect in baseball? We don't have a rule. We issue um, a memorandum to the clubs as to what we expect from players with respect to the playing of the national anthem, but it's never been a rule, and uh, we've been very fortunate. Our players um, have been uniformly respectful. So what would you do if one player from either the Indians or the Cubs were to do something similar on an on a international stage like tonight? We actually had um, a situation a few years ago where a player um, did not come out for the national anthem, and I think we did what you have to do. We respected that individual's right to express himself. All right, so you're prepared to do that if you have to, but it's, it's, it's not a free country when it comes to team ownership. These are employed individuals working essentially for a company. They don't have those kind of rights, right? Right. Uh, like I said, we've been fortunate. Um, our players um, have uniformly done the right thing. I fully expect that's what's going to happen tonight. All right. There, we're told that some tickets tonight are going for upwards of $6,000. Uh, how do you police scalp it? Well, the, the pricing you're talking about is largely in um, the secondary market. Right. Um, the secondary market is a fact of life for all major events, not just sporting events. And I think th those prices are an indication of just tremendous interest in this particular matchup. As commissioner, do you like to see this go a full seven games? Could you live with four or five? I mean, the longer the drama goes on, usually the better ratings-wise and popularity-wise, right? You know, I answer that question based on the fact that I'm a huge fan. The more baseball nah. we have, the better. I'm hoping it goes seven games. Do you feel personally awful that the New York Yankees are not there and these two other teams of little note are? 
Well, all I can say to that is uh, we're happy to have the Chicago Cubs and the Cleveland Indians. They're great representatives of the National and American League, and uh, we're going to have a great World Series. All right, that's a very diplomatic answer, Commissioner. Finally, the 8.08 start time, the first pitch. Why 8.08? We pick our start times um, along with our broadcast partners in order to maximize the number of people that can sure. watch the games. Um, we've got great data on, on start times, and 808 seems to be the best spot for us in terms of getting the most people watching a great World Series matchup. Uh, it should be big. It should be big. Any predictions? Uh, I'm not in the prediction yeah. business. I think we're going to have a great World Series. Won't go further than that. <laughs> all right. Well, obviously, you could tell from my questions that I live and breathe this stuff. I'm all over it. Um, <laughs> Commissioner, seriously, thank you. I have a very good sense of humor as well, sir. Uh, wish you luck and, well, and baseball luck. Nice to be with you. I hope you'll be watching tonight. Oh, please. <laughs> Where else would I be? Uh, thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> what is Fox right, Business my pleasure. doing tonight? Do we know?